Okay. All right. So good morning again. I hope we all are doing well. It's day four of week eight. And uh, welcome to its stand up. We are going to do the normal routine stand up where you just share with us how was yesterday, uh, what were you working on, and did you face any blocker, or do you have any point of discussion you want to raise now? You know, feel free to go ahead and raise it. So let's get started. Let's get started like how we always do it. Shall people raise your hands and share with us? Anyone? Uh, even if you do not have any blocker or any challenge from yesterday, you just let us know uh, how was yesterday and what are you working on and what's the progress. Okay, the queue is still empty. Let's have people on the queue. Just open your mic and you share with us quick updates and that's it. All right, Shamil, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So yesterday I submitted my challenge. Uh, so actually I, I'm trying to get more understanding on the uh, the package or the causal next, I think, uh, on implementing the causal index. So today that would be my uh, my goal actually to to do to understand it and to implement it. I guess yeah. So I think not that much. Uh, big of uh, blocker yeah thank you okay all right thanks for sharing shamil and keep it up let's hear for more people what are you working on let's do it quickly can we have people raising hands All right, we have two people on the queue already. Let's have others joining them as well. Michael, you can go first. Okay, uh, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, uh, I tried to submit both the submissions and I was working on the data, even so some there was some misconception, but we tried to assume some things and proceed. Today, uh, I will proceed for in the casual inference part. Thank you. All right, amazing, Michael. Keep it up as well. How about you, Adisu? Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I submitted both the report and the GitHub link. And uh, like Michael, I was working on yesterday on the data part. Uh, but there was a live problem, so that was my blocker yesterday. Uh, and today also, I'm working on the data. That's it. Thank you. Okay, amazing. Keep it up as well, Adisu. Uh, let's hear from others. Yes, here, yeah, this. Okay, good morning. Uh, yesterday, I was also uh, trying to understand the data and also especially working on how to uh, link uh, the two data that are given. Uh, that uh, and also I was trying to identify the the causes. Uh, uh, maybe in the formulate I have put a C so that I could check it out. And uh, I was also trying to use different libraries uh, for casual for casuality. Uh, 
uh, and I'm, I'm going to continue to do that today. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to send you this. Keep it up as well. All right, small people. The segment. Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, good. Yesterday I was working on the EDA. Uh, uh, I still don't have a full understanding for the data yet, but uh, I will get uh, inside today, I hope. Uh, I'm also uh, didn't raise a part of the causal inference. So uh, I don't know exactly what uh, scenarios I can apply in the causal inference. So any hint or any help in this part uh, will be helpful. Thank you. All right, uh, Rahmat, can you help? Yeah, I think we should give for the other trainees to share their uh, perspective on this. Yeah, if you can share, Abdurrahman, what kind of scenarios you are thinking about. Okay, maybe Jabe, since you mentioned something on that part, can I? Okay, what specific part should I? So, Abdurrahman, you're saying the possible uh, constraint, uh, right? I, I, I didn't hear you. Can, can you repeat? So, you're saying what are the possible causal inference that you can think of, right? Scenarios for? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm trying to uh, identify. Uh, first, I try to add the features on the data, like uh, the uh, holiday. Uh, was there a holiday on the uh, orders that were rejected on that day? And also, maybe if there is, uh, it's weekend or weekdays, and different features like that and uh, trying to uh, have a link, a causal link between these uh, scenarios and uh, the rejection part. So, what, uh, for example, if I may uh, have a hypothesis that says, uh, if it is holidays, on the holiday, uh, it is high, uh, there is high probability or casual effect for uh, to, uh, order to be rejected if the day is a holiday if the order is set on the holiday and uh, hypothesis like that and try to uh, model uh, that and then try to uh, test that uh, that was uh, that is in my mind uh, trying to solve okay thank you jabez any other person who has another way of thinking the casual inference this is one way yeah, yeah, yeah. jabez is is correct others So, Abdurrahman, I think Java is kind of be helpful, and there are also other on the documentation, right? Two points that are mentioned that could be casual. Abdurrahman. Yeah, uh, that's what's helpful. Two mentions. Well, the, the one that said what will happen if the number of complete orders, if the drivers are one kilometer away. From their location which clients are frequently order so that you can know which uh, drivers you should give, i mean clients you should give priority to maybe frequently order people maybe you can get some priority to get the delivery uh, drivers so uh, there could be other options maybe you can start uh, a trade on the Slack, and everyone can share possible casual they see for this scenario. But from these three, at least three points, you can start your work. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, 
Thanks, Prof. Matt. And the team, and of course, the Peter Bachmet. And let's hear from other people. You can raise your hand uh, to those who just joined. Just do it like we always do. Raise your hand if you have any questions. And also, if you don't, just update us on uh, what's going on on your side. Okay. And of course, if you can speak, please drop it in the chat box like Enox Enox did. All right, Hillary, the floor is yours. Larry, we can't hear you. Oh, Hillary, we can't hear you. Maybe you can leave and rejoin. And in the meantime, we can go with a baby. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, uh, uh, for the last days in this week, I was trying to understand the concept that we are going to work on this week's challenge. So, I got some understanding stuff to know, and uh, yeah. I have submitted my interim submissions on time yesterday. Uh, and I was doing some data cleaning and EDA on the provided data. I have this. Then this so far these things and uh, this day I'm reading on uh, casual inference documents. Thank you. Okay, all right, Abibi, keep it up from your side as well. Hilary, you can take over. Good morning. Am I audible? Uh, yes, you are. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, yesterday I submitted both of my uh, the, the submissions uh, report and the GitHub link and on time. Uh, but uh, on the GitHub link, I haven't done much. So uh, I was doing them on notebook, and I'm planning to to put them in, to put uh, my code in scripts. I was working on feature engineering, and I'm also planning to. Uh, to work on casual inference and the casual, casual, the casual inference on today on the data. Uh, so far, uh, yeah, the blocker is trying to display the graph for. So I'm I'm using the document the uh, recall the tutorial that was showcased on causal index, and I'm getting some uh, errors, but um. I'm hoping to figure them out. It's probably that I've not imported some files or installed them. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. Uh, keep it up on your side as well. Let's proceed to who else? You can raise your hands. And of course, if you can speak again, please share in the chat box. Just ensure that you leave stand up, uh, leaving an update of uh, what's going on on your side. In the meantime, let's hear from Tim Scan. Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, yesterday, I managed to submit my projects, my sort of deliverables, and I'm trying to, like most of us, figure out the, the data in the default evaluation. And uh, I didn't hear the question of Abraham, so uh, I don't know if I'm asking again, but in the task that I delivered the first one in the review, so it asked, uh, Techniques used to implement uh, casual inference, and I'm confused uh, on that. So, 
if uh, as a premise I've implemented techniques for casual inference, I want to know. And if not, from the from Muhammad, how do we go with that techniques on casual inference? That's my question. Okay, I was a bit struggling to hear you, Tamskin, but uh, keep it up if there is no any blocker. Then moving forward, can we hear from Mr. Steele? Mr. Steele, good morning, can you hear me? Okay, yes, you can share in the chat box. Uh, Salam Awit, good morning. Good morning. Yep. The floor is yours. Can you hear me? Huh? Perfect, so we can. Yes. Okay, yesterday I was able to submit the interim submissions for the documentation and my GitHub link. But um, for the GitHub link, I, I was able to do the EDA to a certain extent, but not completely. I'm still trying to understand the, the data that was shared. Um, and also I saw there was, um, that we had to also include the weather data and I was also trying to look for a uh, clean data on that. Okay. And any blocker yet? Any block on your site, Salamowitz, or everything okay? Mm. Not necessarily blockers, but I'm still working on it. Okay. Okay, all right, keep it up. And then... Uh, uh, excuse me, Pascaline, sorry. Sure. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, there was um, a question about causal inference before. Um, sorry, I was not... Uh, I was not in pain, like I was not in the, in the call. You I'm asking that, uh, that the, 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 the techniques, right? I don't know. Ask yes, yes. I was asking uh, the techniques to yeah. do the code first. So, you're, okay, so is this, is this your question? Uh, what is the technique to use for cause and inference? Yes, yes. So, yeah, can you let me know what is your understanding? What What is like in your head? What do you have like um, right now? What do you think you have to do? Well, until now, uh, I spend most of my time just understanding the, the data and cleaning it and visualizing it first to, to understand it, then following the steps on the on the task list, so I haven't made the plan yet. So I'm 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 on, on, on the way of understanding the data. Okay, so uh, okay, so understanding the data is actually so this is like maybe the trickiest part. The trickiest part is actually understanding the data and generating the new features, because um, practically the next step after you have you have your data ready. Um, what you have to do next, or like uh, this is a suggestion to do, is that you can like install causal next, for example, and use causal next to generate a causal graph. You know what a causal graph is, right? So the causal graph is this just like uh, this uh, graph that basically has uh, uh, your variables that in, in your data. 
and it shows you like if there is a causal relationship between one variable and the, and the other for example if there is any uh, for example if your target is like um, um, let's say uh, that the order is fulfilled or not uh, and then it can be affected by for example if you have like a uh, in your in your data you have like uh, the number of driver available or like uh, the weather uh, is it raining or not it will be there will be like a causal uh, arrow basically in your in your graph between these variables so the thing is that uh, what's uh, like uh, i think the hardest part here is to generate enough uh, features in your data to to feed them into into the causal next uh, algorithm but like practically once you finish with the data you can just like don't don't think that you have to like go with the data so long so okay try and get as many features as you can uh, try do your feature engineering feature engineering do you do your cleaning and everything but try to feed your data into causa next um, and generate a causal graph and see what you get basically and if you if you don't get something that is useful go back again to your data and try again so do you get does this answer your question do you get what i'm saying uh i've kept i have got a starting point from this so uh, correct me if i'm wrong for the process mm -hmm. yeah so understanding the data is required for adding features to the data for more exploration uh, mm -hmm. So after understanding, uh, by our understanding, adding the feature engineering, then do the causal mix on the causal mix using the causal graph. I think you, yeah, I, I yeah. get that. Okay. okay yes. You you like this exactly what I said. Yes. But just let me let me say this. Uh, just like uh, maybe for everyone, not only for you, Thomas, again, but for everyone else think about doing things in an iterative process so like maybe you don't get you don't need to like i mean you can stay with the data and try to understand it and try to generate new features for some time just don't stay like five days doing that try and once you see like okay maybe i can continue even if like i don't completely get everything but try move to the next step and generate your causal graph and because when you do this, you might get more understanding of your data once you do this uh, step of generating a causal graph. Look at your causal graph, and then if you think, you can even go further and do the inference step where you try to like modify one of the variables and get what is the effect. You can even do that. And if you think like still you're not getting something that is useful, you can go back again to your data try to generate new features and do the same thing again. So think about it in a more iterative way. So try to move on to the next step and, and do the causal graph. And if you don't, it, like, because it might, you might get more understanding there and then go back. This is just like, take it as my own advice. This is my advice from me, Imtina. It's not something that is supported maybe, but I'm just like, uh, this is my suggestion. For, for you and because I don't want you to be stuck at the step of understanding the data and like not having time to do to try to do the other steps I want you to try and then you can go back again to the data and try to enrich it and understand it better I don't know if this um, okay this is that has this answered your question Damaskin? okay um okay so we can move on um fast screen can i think let's do next questions all right uh thanks for jumping in i guess i just missed the one so let's continue uh to the next person i can see different shared in the chat box that's great uh, for now, let's hear from uh, Can we hear from you, Derej? Derej, can you hear me?
Okay, uh, there is just let us know if in the chat box if, if you can hear us. But I say if you're speaking, you're on mute. Okay, in the meantime, we hear from uh, Abraham Cheka. Good morning. Abraham, how about you, Daisy? Uh, good morning, everyone. So yesterday I managed the submissions. I worked on the EDA and a, a little bit of the feature engineering. So I'm hoping to finish that today and quickly get into uh, causal, cause, get started on causal inference as MTNAN has recommended. I think that's some good advice, yeah. All right, keep it up, Daisy. So um, we are a bit late, right on time and we still have three minutes in. Anyone who has any point is, of discussion they want to raise now? Okay, Hilary, go ahead. So, so my, my question is that uh, on the feature engineering, uh, we advise to get uh, the conditions like, uh, or let's say features like rain versus no rain and uh, mostly about the weather. And if, uh, so I'm, I'm using no weather API, uh, open weather, I think it's open weather API, but uh, we have limited, we have limited API calls per day a thousand. So what is, what what will you advise um, the road can anyone advise on this like do, can can I use only a sample of 100 to 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 work on this until the end or uh, do we do we do away with the weather okay um there's a I think there's an alternative for for getting the weather but uh, I've tried them but um, maybe there's if there's any other suggestion for that. Okay, so just to, to emphasize what uh, Hillary is asking, um, is there is anyone who managed to get the weather information uh, from like publicly or public available data, of course? Uh, can you share like uh, your resource or where you got it? So sorry, Hillary, I, cannot, I don't have an, an actual answer for this, but I'm asking everyone else, maybe you, in your search, have you found something? That can be useful. Please share your okay, Abdurrahman. Okay, uh, there is uh, a library I think uh, shared by Abu Bakr. Uh, mm -hmm. You can give this library the uh, the date, start date, and end date. So it will give you the the whole. Uh, sorry, uh, for this interval, it will give you how how the weather. I think you can detect the temperature or uh, what any parameter you need and for a specific region it will give you uh, this data so i tried first to classify the data uh, the location for uh, different regions so i can apply this but i faced another problem i used uh, geopy that have a limited abi so i couldn't uh, classified all uh, the, the data point or all the, the data frame column. I wanted to to do this on, on it. I hope uh, this was clear. Uh, OK, so there are a couple of like, um, also Mr. is as is mentioning something, Abdurrahman. So Hilary, does this like help? Yeah, I, I tried it, but I I wasn't I didn't know how to get a rain because um probably it was precipitation or something. So okay, it was hard for me using that library mentioned by, by Google. I ah, saw so you you are using the same thing. Uh, I see. Uh, okay, um, I I didn't know like um. 
Um, I don't know about these limits. Uh, okay. It's strange because, like, um, the it's, it's just because it's uh, less true. But uh, when I tried it myself, that was there was some limits. That's true. Okay. Um, so the, the only thing to, to do here is that uh, everyone who looks around and if you find something that is helpful, just share it with everyone else. Um, um, I cannot really say more than that. Uh, hopefully you can find enough. Um, uh, okay. Say so, um, Wok says there was no limit for him. So uh, I don't know, maybe so you are asking for a different kind of information. So. Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead. So, sorry, go ahead, Hillary. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's the same information that he's answering. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah, so, right. Um, yeah, this is a, just a, like a problem of like looking for the right kind of resource. And sometimes, yeah, there are limits and things that you need to pay for and stuff like that. And of course, you just try to get like uh, you. You we, we are looking for as many features as possible. We don't know which one will be going to be effect like uh, will have an actual effect. But like um, again, I will emphasize that try, but uh, try to also move on to the next steps and see like uh, to just. Uh, um, because you will get more understanding th there and maybe you will get a better idea on which features or if you need more features or not to add. Okay. Uh, I think we can move on to next uh, question if there are any other questions or is there other um, anyone who wants to share anything uh, next? Like we can take a few more minutes, I suppose. Anyone? Okay, I believe then all questions are answered. And uh, yeah, so if you face any blocker moving forward, uh, please share on Slack so that we can still have a discussion about it. Otherwise, uh, we can call it a meeting and then Go ahead and enjoy the rest of our day. Okay, I'll stop the recording for now.